Now, uh, the fireman's lift, as I understand it, is something like this. Now, uh, Mr. Humphreys, would you mind being unconscious? Yes. Have I been overcome by fumes or smoke? A combination of both. Right. Let me get in the mood. <laughs> I did that at school, you know, in a play. I was Lady Hamilton, and I fainted when I heard the dreaded news from Waterloo. Mm. Mr. Humphreys, Nelson wasn't at Waterloo. No, but my mother was. She'd missed the train. <laughs> Look, can we get on with it? I can't bear the sight of my pussy standing at the door with a tin opener in his mouth. Well, if you're all pay attention... Now, are you ready, Mr. Humphreys? I'm too overcome to reply. Oh, yes, you are. Okay, come on, get on. Now then, what you do is this. You lie down at the side of the victim. You grasp the right wrist in the right hand, and then you roll over like so. <laughs> if you don't want me saying so, Captain Peacock, you're making a right noise up by there. <laughs> I thought he was doing rather well. <laughs> Can I show you how we used to do it when I was in the auxiliary fire service? <laughs> You can do anything you like with him. Oh, you wait till you're asked. <laughs> Had you let me finish, Mr Harmon, I was about to show them the lift from the prone position. Yes, well, I, I think we should all have a go at that. Uh, Mrs Slocum, you can be the victim. I'm not getting down on the mucky floor. Miss Brown's get me a chair. Now, uh, who shall we have to rescue her? Uh, Mr Lucas, how would you like to rescue Mrs Slocum? <laughs> Is that an order? Yes. <laughs> now, Mrs. Slocum, remember to relax and let your body go. From the look of it, she already has. <laughs> I'm not having him put a finger on me if he's going to be cheeky. Do you want rescuing or not? I just don't want any of your lip. Uh, 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 Mr. Lucas, are you ready? Ready. Right. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty clear from that. I hope not. 